What's up guys? As most of you know, I spent a lot of time this week talking about my designs. It's because I really think this software has the potential to shape the future of print on demand. And I want you guys to be ahead of the curve. In this video, I want to breeze through everything that I showed you in the tutorial, but I want to do it in like in Ryan time, you know, in, in my time, just, just fast. I'm not going to slow down. I'm going to explain as I go, but I'm not going to do it tutorial pace. Okay. And the intent is to really show you the power of my designs, because I bet you a lot of you guys probably bookmarked my other videos that are 30 minutes long and thought, you know, I'll come back to it. And then maybe you will, maybe you won't. Well, hopefully after watching this video, you will uh, dive right in. Okay, the first thing I wanna say is open your Etsy account, use the link in the description to get 40 free listings. There's no point in not getting the free listings. Then use the link in the description to get a free account for my designs beta. Make sure you use this link that I just highlighted right here at the top. It says click here for a free account. All right, so assuming you guys did that, you open your account. Now we are basically here where we left off with the previous tutorial. Now I'm going Ryan speed and I'm gonna show you, I have a whole nother set of designs that we're gonna use. Uh, they are cat themed. So that is the plan guys. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna make a new collection. So I click under listings, I click home, and then I have this YouTube folder already set up. I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm gonna make a collection called cats. Cats is the theme. I'm gonna hit create collection. All right, and then I'm gonna click the folder. It is empty, so I'm gonna click upload designs and then I'm gonna pull from my side monitor over here six different SVGs of cats and I'm gonna click upload designs. Took like a second and now all of them are uploaded. Perfect. Uh, you can see their various sizes, various kind of themes, etc. cetera. Uh, and you know, creating your design files is a whole nother topic. Uh, and it kind of exists independently outside of my designs. My focus is on my designs right now, but I do have some content where I've talked about like what you can essentially sell as digital files on Etsy. And uh, I'll, you just got to check out the playlist. I put a, I put all these videos together in a playlist and I will link to that in the description uh, on YouTube as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I want to go to the templates. So I'm going to click edit template in the top right. I'm going to go to load templates and I'm going to click Etsy digital and I'm going to click install template. Okay. So I want to start off with the template that's optimized for selling digital on Etsy. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit template and I'm going to go to keywords. Well, actually, let's do inventory and pricing first. I'm going to set my price. So I'm going to do $1.99 as the price. Quantity, I'm going to set to 999. All right. And now I'm going to go to keywords. And notice I have a primary keyword and a secondary keyword field. Well, I'm going to add some more fields. Uh, if you guys caught the tutorial, you know I like to create a field called primary secondary, where we join the primary and secondary keywords together. This is just my personal preference, guys. You don't have to do it my way. You know, experiment. Do what makes sense to you. Um, but here... For the value of primary secondary, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remember the format for variables in my designs, guys, is square bracket, section name, dot field name, square bracket. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be square bracket. Uh, the section is called keywords. So keywords dot primary keyword. Okay. So I want to pull the primary keyword in. That's what it's going to do right there. And then I'm going to hit space and I'm going to paste and I'm going to change primary to secondary. Okay. So now I got the primary and secondary keywords being pulled in right here. Now, secondary keyword for this design specifically, it's going to be cats. Okay. Now before the way we did it was, I think we flipped it. Uh, and it was like the primary was hard coded and the secondary wasn't, but, <clears throat> um, in this case, yeah, I know the secondary keyword I want to be cats. Uh, and then I'm going to add another field. This field is going to be called, um, file extensions. Uh, file extensions. We're going to pull this into our mockups. So I'm going to keep it as text. I'm going to hard code it uh, and I'm going to pull it over. So guys, I do like to keep my uh, content kind of stored in notepad, by the way, so I can reference it, you know, offline, have a backup copy. So I have all the file extensions right here. If I duck my head down, I'm just going to copy paste them into the file extensions. And I'm going to add one more field that we're going to use later. This is completely optional. It's just something I like to do. And I, it really highlights the power of my design's ability to pull tags dynamically. I called this field Redbubble tags and it's type tags. Okay. So now we've got all these fields here. Um, as far as the tags, we're going to set that later. Primary keyword, we're going to set that later. Inventory pricing, we set those. Listing, title, tags, description. Well, I already wrote out my um, title template here. Uh, I wrote my tags template here. And I wrote my description template here. Okay. So I've got all those in place. I'm going to hit save changes and then I'm going to hit update template and designs because I wanted to push to the existing designs that I already uploaded and I'm going to click upload or update template. Sorry. 
Now you'll notice there's a lot of this word empty everywhere. Uh, in order to set that, we need to select all of the um, files that we uploaded. Keep in mind, you can upload 100 files at a time. Uh, the max that you'll be able to up, uh, to uh, select per page is 24. So I only have six right now, but I'm just telling you, we could do this up to 24 at a time. Well, actually, for the edits, it depends on what type of edit you're going to perform. If you're going to perform the edit that we're about to do, which is where we set the primary keyword value, uh, variable value, we could do it to like 100, 200 at a time. If we're doing mockups, that's where it gets limited to just the page you're looking at. So I'm going to go to more actions. I'm going to go to edit. Uh, we want to switch this to primary keyword. And then I'm going to click right here. It says add variable. And underneath, now that I clicked add variable, you'll see it says VAR1. And next to that, it says value. I'm going to click app. When you do that, you'll notice right here, it can pull the file name. So guys, I name my design files the primary keyword. And then the app will dynamically pull the file name and store it as the primary keyword. Perfect. And you can actually see it's uh, it's working right here in the preview. That's the bottom half under sample. It's the preview. I'm going to click update six listings. Yes. <clears throat> Boom. Now we can see. It's pulling in those primary words. Uh, you can actually switch the view here to keywords and check that out. The primary keyword is set on each listing. I just kind of did a descriptor for what I think the cats are doing in each one. You know, like the sitting cat, the walking cat, Siamese cat, purring cat, pawing cat, trippy cat, etc. Okay, so next all we have to do is uh, fill in these red bubble tags. So I've already got all of them selected. I'm going to go to more actions. I'm going to go to bulk tags. Red bubble selected by default, but it also supports spreadshirt, Etsy, T public. Um, the keyword field that we're going to feed in as the seed keyword, I'm going to use primary secondary because primary secondary is pulling the primary and secondary words. So it's feeding in two words. And I found that if you feed in two words to the Redbubble tag generator, you get better results than if you just feed one word. Okay. Uh, tags. Uh, this is going to go to the Redbubble tags field, uh, tags limit. I'm going to switch it from 10 to 15. I'll hit generate tags and notice right here behind me under active jobs, it is firing that off. It's only going to take a minute. By the way, you can go over here to jobs on the left-hand side and you can see everything that's completed or failed uh, right here, you know? So it's, it's a nice way to monitor. You can see the uh, queued process right there as well. All right. So while that's queued, it looks like almost all of them are done. Uh, there we go. It's done. So we can go over here to the keywords and look, red bubble tags right here. It's all listed and they all have unique tags because we fed the um, primary secondary and with that, you have, you know, assuming that at least your file names are unique, you should have unique tags. Uh, also, if we go to the description, we scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, actually, we have to click out. Sorry, I think we have to click out of it. Did I make a mistake? Oh, I, I, I messed up. Okay, so it's I called the field red bubble tags. I flipped it. Um, so what I actually need to do is edit the template and go down here to the bottom because uh, I actually made a typo and it's red bubble tags. Okay, so I didn't line up the field name there. Okay, and now I just update the template and existing designs and we scroll down and check that out. All of the tags are being included in the description in case we get indexed on those additional relevant keywords. Okay, and we're doing all this dynamically at scale, guys. So next I want to create my uh, mockups. And by the way, I like to go to the template and actually name my mockups here. So I'm gonna go to mockup one and I'm gonna call it mockup one primary apply. Then I'm gonna go to mockup two. I'm gonna say mockup two. Let's do t-shirt apply mock-up three this is you don't have to do this guys i just like to do it as like a, a note to myself i'll call this mug and then i'm going to add a fourth mock-up and i'm going to move it in after mock-up three and guess what we're going to call the fourth mock-up we're going to call it mock-up four and i'm going to call it poster okay and then i'm going to save changes apply to all okay and now we have to generate these mock-ups guys so i've already got all six selected i'm gonna go to more actions i'm gonna go to mock-ups and i'm going to go for the first one um, and pick one of these like primary ones down here. Uh, what is a cat going to look good against? Let's do this one. Mockup file slot. I'm going to set to primary, uh, primary keyword. We're going to use, um, what should we do? I think we'll use primary secondary in this case. Remember it's all, you know, if you watch my tutorial, this is a little bit different, but you got to make sense of it as you go. Okay. Secondary keywords. We're going to use file extensions. We can actually generate a preview before we bulk process this and have it update for all of our listings. Okay. So it says trippy cats. Um, it probably would be better if it said cat. So, you know what I'm going to do actually is really quickly go to edit template and, uh, go to keywords. And instead of saying cats, plural, I'm going to, um, update that to just say cat. I think that that makes more sense. So that was my mistake there. Okay. But no problem. Just like that, it should be updated. So now we can reprocess this, um, go back down here. What did we use? Maybe this one. 
Uh, primary keywords, we'll use primary secondary. Secondary, we will do the file extensions, generate preview. Should only take a couple seconds. Trippy cat, and then it's got all the file extensions. I'm gonna hit create mockups, and that it's processing over here. While it processes, let's queue up the next one. Same deal, except we're gonna go to mockup two t-shirt. Um, we can just use the standard folded t-shirt right here, actually. So why don't we just use that use that one? Um, generate preview. Let's just see how it looks. Not bad, not bad. There was one I was messing with the other day though that I really liked. Uh, this one right here with the red. I just think the red pops. Okay, so check that out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna hit create mockups for the shirts. Same thing, more actions, mockups, file slot. Now we're at three. Um, we're gonna do the coffee mugs. Let's do this white coffee mug. Can do a preview. Looks good, create mockups. And now one more time and we'll do the posters. Okay, so let's go down here to the posters. Maybe this one. It's kind of, I don't know. I kind of like the ones that are more centered, actually. Um, off to the side, I'm never a big fan of. Maybe this one. Okay. Uh, we'll hit generate preview. Got the cat on a poster. Sure, why not? Set the uh, mock-up file slot to four. Create mock-ups. Boom. All right, guys. That's basically it. I mean, I still kind of slowed down a little bit. I know I'm still like kind of talking you through it as I go. But hopefully you guys are impressed. Um, you can switch which uh, image you're looking at here, by the way, in that right sidebar under file slots. So we've got our t-shirts, the mugs, the posters, the zip file spot. That's what the customer is going to get when they make a purchase. Okay. So now all we have to do is click uh, publish. Although before I do that, guys, really quickly under more actions, look at image utility. You can do some really cool stuff. Uh, you can do like pattern overlays. And you can actually sell these as separate files. So if you wanted to sell this file as like a whatever, I mean, really, whatever you can think of, um, you can actually set this when you're publishing as the primary and sell, sell this instead of the default black that we uploaded. Uh, another one you can do that's cool is like image effect and you can have it create like distressed versions of your, um, of your files. I mean, check that out. Look how easily we're distressing these guys. <laughs> like if you've ever had to distress in the past manually, you're like watching me do this, like what the heck, Ryan, really? It's this easy? Um, yes, it is now this easy, okay? So now I'm just gonna go to publish. I'm gonna go to digital Etsy. You'll notice all the file types that will get published. Here is where you can switch it though. If you want the customer to purchase something other than what you uploaded initially, which is represented by primary, then you can select that here. I'm gonna leave it as primary. Next step, I'm gonna leave these categories the default. Next step, uh, choose mockups. Well, I'm gonna do mockup one primary. That's gonna be my primary mockup. Then I'm gonna select mockup two, three, and four. And you can kind of see a preview here as we go. Hit next step again. This is basically a replica of what's getting pushed to Etsy. So you can just scroll through and check it out really quickly. If it looks good, click next step. And here we are. Uh, we're basically good to go. You can scroll down if you want to and check everything over or just click publish and it's going to go to your Etsy shop. It should only take a minute. And here you are. You can see all of them in your drafts folder on Etsy. Then you can basically just bulk select all of them and then click the publish button and they'll be live for sale on Etsy. And just to show you what this looks like on the front end, guys, here you are. We have the primary thumbnail. Um, you can click. It gets the full zoom in there as well. It looks great. Got the primary secondary keywords as I chose to set it up. We have the file extensions there. You can do more with it than that. I mean, I, this is just how, you know, just, just one way to do it that I've been do using. You know, we have our shirt. I love that red gradient background. We got the mug, the poster. Uh, you can even add more than that, uh, I believe. Um, but, you know, it's just a question of how many you want to add. Uh, you know, we have the title, we've got the price, we have our file description. Um, you can see the description we set. We've got the red bubble tags. If I hide myself really quickly, got the tags down there dynamically inserted as well. Um, guys, I mean, what's not to love about my designs? You can use it for free. You can start right now. If watching this shorter video, uh, has you intrigued, check out the full playlist. It is in the description. It's free. There's nothing to lose. All right. You, you are ahead of the curve now. So go out there. Make some digital sales on Etsy. If you have time this weekend, maybe, uh, since there's no more football on, I know I'm the only football addict here probably, but um, you know, now I have a bunch more time to myself as well. So I'm gonna be in here selling some digital files. But guys, have a great day, have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow with a new Etsy shop review.